Well guys, we've officially did it. We have found a coral reef. Finally. Oh, guys, you have no idea. I've been looking for one of these forever. And um, it's actually a straight shot from the ravine. So it's pretty awesome. So I have my shulker box here. I've been doing a little bit of just testing out. I didn't know how to collect the corals right away. Good thing I have Silk Touch on this pick. Not one of my best picks, but it's going to do. <laughs> um, I still have a ton of buckets here because we are going to be working on a bit of a landscaping project back over at our ravine, which you guys saw a little bit of that, just kind of filling up the water. That was kind of hectic all on its own. Um... But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of throw some of this stuff in there. I do want to throw the trident. I got that. That's actually a lot better than the first one that we got. Um, got some sea pickles here. So the lighting is absolutely beautiful. I love the sea pickles. I know there is a freaking one of those guys. I know. There's one of those uh, drowns. I know he's right under here. He has to be. I heard him. I don't know where. <laughs> but anyways, I have this bucket here because I'm trying to, ca to catch as many um, tropical fish as possible. Oh, look. I left one behind. Let me grab it. This is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. I don't want to collect too much of it because I would love to have some here just looking beautiful. And I got to catch this guy. Just in search. <laughs> I am still trying to catch these darn little fish. This is so pretty though. I have to admit, this is probably by far one of the coolest parts of the update. I mean, you know, dolphins are cool and stuff, but I have to admit, like, I'm really loving. Oh, look, there's some more of the tube coral. I love this one. Come back. Okay, um, and I think I'll take another one of these yellow ones, whatever that is. Thank you very much. Okay, now enough funny business with this coral stuff. I need to get some tropical fish. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I got a bucket of puffer. Okay, I'm going to take it. I got a tough, uh, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I could always come back. <laughs> but that was awesome. That was super, super cool. Where's my little tower that I made? I made like this little dirt tower. Let's find it. Because my, um, uh-oh. The reef's not that big. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Okay. Um, but I have my shulker box over there full of stuff. Full of the goodies that we can take back with us. And, um, yeah. We're going to get working on the latest project today. The landscaping project. And I think you guys are going to really like it. Because I'm pretty excited. And, man, we really traveled a ways, didn't we? <laughs> we got a puffer. They're so cute. They are so cute. Especially when they get angry, I guess. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of this stuff right here, just random stuff. And let's go ahead and put all of our finds here. And I have a little bit of coral. I didn't collect a lot of that. I don't think that we're going to want any anyways. Not for not yet. I was thinking about in the future working on a, um, like a really awesome aquarium, like a super huge aquarium. Um, if you guys know who Mumbo Jumbo is, he built an aquarium on Hermitcraft, and I just thought it was super, super awesome. So, I mean, I would love to try and, and do something similar to that. Not completely copying his idea, of course, but, you know, doing something similar to that for the Let's Play world. I think it will look really awesome. So, um, all right. So, let's go ahead and find our way home. I'm going to have to make sure that I screenshot these coordinates, and I'll definitely save those. So, yes. All right, guys. So, I will see you here in just a moment, I believe. I didn't bring my elytras, guys, so we're going to have to swim. Okay, guys, we have finally made it home, and I have a bit of a dilemma, okay? So, <clears throat> okay, remember all of those plants that we just collected? <sighs> okay, so we only have this left. Out of all of that, this is what we have left. We have this coral, um, and I'm really sad because <laughs> I tried placing them like the, the coral plants in on the bottom of, of this little area here right this is going to be our nice little decorative landscaping spot that i was talking about but for some reason the plants break as soon as i place them well i place them and they'll stay for a little bit and then they break for some reason <clears throat> and then also the cucumber or not cucumber i want to call them sea cucumbers <laughs> they're not that sea pickles i can i can't place them down there because they break automatically example I place it and they pop off. No matter what I've placed them on, they pop off. I've tried every kind of block. I've tried coarse dirt, regular dirt, sand, grass, coral, you know, <laughs> you name it, I've tried it. 
It doesn't work, but for some reason I'm able to place them right here. It's complete. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so mad all the time. He's such a little grouch. I have to name that puffer fish. Anyways, um, it's more than, you know, deep enough. I mean, it's not like anything hollow down here. I was thinking that maybe there was a cave underneath that was preventing it from uh, growing or pre preventing them from, you know, uh, being able to, to stay, you know, planted. I mean, I have no idea, guys. I'm lost for words. And I'm so sad because I only have one left. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, I've got most of the border done. Um, except for right here because this is where we're going to be building our bridge. So I left this open, but I did a lot of the stone. <laughs> ah, get away from me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Um, a lot of this is, is pretty much done. I, but I have like a mixture of cobble, stone brick, and stairs and slabs and stuff up top. And I think this makes it look really nice. I did it all the way down here. Um, oh, I forgot this spot right there. But I did it all the way down here on into our little... I guess, I don't know, we might dig further for this, but I wanted, to, wanted it to look like the stream is kind of coming from underneath the mountain. And I did it like that on that side as well. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's so small, like, I don't see him until it's too late. Oh, you little bugger. Every time, he gets me every time. Anyways, so we gotta build a bridge here, that's what we're gonna do today. And then we're also gonna go ahead and work in a gazebo there. So. I think I may have, oh, I do have the spruce ready on me. So we're going to go with the stripped wood look. I love this spruce stripped wood. Um, and I think that's about it. Now, the twiggy kind of a roof that I've done before. And when I say twiggy, if you remember downstairs, um, right down there. <laughs> I want to jump down. I seriously, I do. But I'm just going to go down there really quick, guys. I'm going to show you. It's been a while since we've been down here. Let's just take, whoa. <laughs> Let's just take a quick little peek. Why not? Um, so, yes, the, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you can see this house right here. So it has kind of a twig look. And what I mean by that is I use stairs and stuff for the roof. Um, I don't know if maybe I did it over here too. You know, I did do it over here. Okay, never mind. But do you see these random place uh, fences? They're supposed to resemble twigs or sticks kind of coming out of imperfect wood that's been kind of placed together to make to form a house. So I want that look as well on the gazebo just to kind of bring this look up top. Ooh, the note block. So guys, I don't know, I, I didn't mention this last episode. Actually, this is I didn't have these on Unity. No, I didn't have it yet. Anyways, so if you guys can see, I have some of the textures from the new texture update that's going to be coming out very soon. I have brought in some of the textures from that, and I love it. Like, I did it with the jukebox. Um, I did it with the oak leaves. I think, oh yeah, like I have some leaves right there, as a matter of fact. Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, the cauldron. The cauldron is so nice. I love it. Um... The cauldron. Oh, yeah, the furnace I didn't do. I only did the sides because I like how smooth the cobble looks. But for the front face, I like it darker, I guess, because it kind of seems faded in the other texture. Like, it seems like it's just too light. And I really like how dark the outs, the, the trim of the furnace is. Um, also, for the items, you can see here, you can see the ingots are a bit cleaner. I love, I just really love the work that he did with those. The, look, even the armor looks a bit different. Um, yeah, that looks, that all looks nice. The apples, I mean, I love it. Even the wheat looks a tad different, and it's perfect because the color that he went with with the new textures is actually the one that we already used. So I didn't even bother changing my actual wheat, but I did change this, so it looks really nice. I like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, um... Let's see, first things first. Do I have any slabs? I do not have slabs on me. Okay. Wait, did I put them in here? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, I do have some cobble slabs here. I do want to make a bit of a cobble. Actually, it's going to be all cobble, and then it's going to be... We could do cobble and spruce, yeah. So all cobble on the sides of the actual bridge, and then the part that you walk on, it will be spruce. So we have the spruce slabs. And then I need to get a bit of the cobble slabs here. And I know I have some stone brick. Huh? Stone brick? Stone brick? Really? I have so much stone brick. Why do I have so much? Oh, it's because of the walkway. Okay. I was like, why do I have so many? But no worries. We can go ahead and con uh, construct and make a bunch here. 
All right, 60. Yeah, that's more than <laughs> that's more than enough. Um, and then we actually need those. So I just want to make a quick bridge here. Bridges tend to be kind of the easier part for me. Um, the gazebo, though, I believe. Oh gosh, it's nighttime already. Jeez, I feel like I just slept. <laughs> All right, so let's go like this. Perfect. You know what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to make it too high. Oh, we gotta get some better tools. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what I did with my tools. I put them away because I was going to go to, I knew I was going to go, you know, come out here to the ocean or I don't know, here, but I was going to go looking for coral and stuff for the coral reef and I put them away. I just don't remember what chest I put them in because I did this a few days ago and I've been playing on Unity a lot and then I came back and I was like, wait, where, where did I put everything again? <laughs> I really did forget. I was like, oh, good grief. Now it's such a, wait, is that him? Than him oh gosh he bullies me guys he bullies me he's so teeny tiny either like i too and i can't see him when he's like it's too late half the time like a so and then this one to go here all right so yep the bridge is a little bit let's see it's a little off offset but i think it's supposed to be that way because once one side is higher than the other so oh what was that that was weird there's so many new sounds. I love it though. There's just so many new sounds that I, I get thrown off a little bit. All right, so let's take that dirt off. Just gonna go here and here. I mean here, there we go. All right, so we should have, let's just jump over here really quick and take a look. All right, the bridge complete pretty much for the most part, it's done. Let's see here, we go like that. Ooh, this is nice. Now, what this is gonna look like in default, I don't know. I don't know. I probably, <laughs> I don't know. But I do know that this looks actually kind of nice with this resource pack, which you guys are gonna be able to enjoy it because I will have it in the description. By the way, I don't know if I already mentioned that. I probably didn't. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I like that. There you go. There. I like it. Um. I don't know. There's also. Let's see here. We could go that. And like that. Okay. And there and there. Awesome. Yeah, I think the water's gonna. I mean, I don't think they'll grow any longer, anyways, because of the. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it'll. I think it'll be fine. Hmm. We could put a bit of stone here, because, you know, it's kind of the. Cobble. Do I have any stone? I don't. Okay, no worries. Let's just do that. And then go like so. Like, boop. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just blend it that way. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of don't like that, but <laughs> we'll fix it. All right, let's just do that. Mm -hmm. This is looking all really nice. So fantastic. It looks a lot better to walk out this way than it did before. Before it was just looking kind of crazy. Okay, and then of course we can go ahead and use our pathway blocks here. Just make a bunch of little random pathways. I don't know. I don't know where that pathway is going to lead to, but um, yeah, we'll fit. We'll get it. <laughs> we'll get it situated eventually. And then let's get rid of these flowers. Definitely no on the flowers. There. Ooh, this is looking to look pretty nice. No flowers. No flowers allowed. Okay, unless it's an orchid, the blue orchids, then yeah, maybe. All right, so this is looking pretty, pretty snazzy. Now let's get down there um, and work on our gazebo. But uh, I gotta get some materials together. I think we're gonna go ahead and. We are, in fact, going to go with these spruce stripped wood. And I think. Well, we may have everything that we need, actually. 
we'll do that then like that so three between okay you know what I may have to get these sea pickles did I get them I got them okay all right and three these are three wide so mm-hmm there three wide again oh no I'm gonna get my sea pickles okay Okay, and then I also have this end stone that works really well together too. To kind of mix it up just a wee bit. Okay, so we're up here finally <laughs> okay so we have that like so then we can go ahead and go like that okay all right there and <clears throat> the whole purpose of this episode I know I haven't done like a super buildy episode lately but there was some of you talking about like uh, maybe I don't build as much as I used to on camera um, I guess the reason for that is just to kind of move along quickly in the world um, and I guess I was losing sight of like the whole reasoning the whole point of even doing a let's play is there a fish somewhere? oh it's dirt but the whole point of doing a let's play world um, is to do it for your viewers so, like you know your viewers they want to see what you're doing they want to see what you're building and I understand like a lot of you guys come around because you want to see the builds you know um, and I guess I was losing sight of that so I'm gonna try to make sure I build on camera as much as possible I mean unless it's like some kind of insane massive build or, or something where I gotta dig for how many hours you know uh, I'm definitely not gonna dig on camera like that but I'll try to keep most of the building part here for you guys to enjoy and to see cuz like I said I guess I was kind of losing sight of that and um, the same in unity I haven't really like done a lot of building on camera I've done like a built a lot of building off camera and so I just want to make sure that I'm building a lot more for you guys so do not worry I've been hearing you guys I've been hearing you make some sandstone make a little bit of slabs here and there we go and I think this is going to be a yeah there we go oh wait are we gonna do wood you know what I think this is where we go this is where we go spruce right here I think okay so I'm just finishing out some of this portion and I kind of skipped over some of it with you guys <laughs> because there's just so much it's so much slab placement so basically what I did and I'll show ya whoa okay so <clears throat> basically what I did okay this is this gazebo is pretty top heavy I'm not gonna lie it's a little top heavy here but let me just step back over here um, where can we place let's just place you right there there we go what's over here <laughs> I thought I saw something so the gazebo is a little top heavy but it's it's definitely what I wanted it's got the the spruce on top it's looking good we still gotta add some fences up there to give it that little twiggy look and then of course we're gonna add in some vines and some leaf blocks and it's just gonna look pretty good I hope um, <clears throat> so right now I'm gonna finish this last portion um, and then we'll move it along to close up the top here so I mean I'm trying what I was trying to do I've made many gazebos in Minecraft guys I've made so many like ever you know <laughs> in my life time as a Minecraft builder as far as I've been building you know anyways <laughs> so I built so many different styles um, so I was trying to do one just a little bit different from what I'm used to um, so this may not be to everybody's taste um, 
to say. So, actually, I'm going to get rid of this. I was going to put this here, but I decided not to. I decided against it. I didn't really like it. Um, so, there's that. Something's going on over here, though. Mm. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. So, let's just put the slab in there. There we go. Perfect. All right. So, now we can pretty much close it off. We're just, gonna, we're just using slabs at this point to close it off. It was very simple to build... Um, wait, what did I do here? <laughs> I'm getting so confused. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna close it off like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, run out of, uh, do I have enough? Oh, I have plenty. Yeah, and then I have my crafting table right here. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and make some more, um, planks here and then make some more slabs. Perfect. More than enough. <laughs> Probably didn't need, didn't need that many, but it's okay. The more, the merrier, and you never, just, you just never know. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and make a little point here. Um, right here, we already kind of have one. Here, and okay. And then we'll put that right on top. Or we could, you know, what we could do that might really make it look better is add a strip piece of wood there and then where's our did i already pick up the crafting bench i uh, sure did well we gotta make some fences we should be able to put this here and we'll go like so and then this can go i see a little spider coming after me okay and then this can go over wait how did i oh, we didn't finish that off yet um <clears throat> We could just finish this off with full blocks of spruce. Yep, we'll do that. How about that? You scared me. <laughs> you scared me so bad, old spider. Get out of here. Oh my. I love it. This looks great. This looks awesome. And I think I have vines. Yes, I do have vines. We do have shears here. So let's go ahead and grab some more vines. Just a bit of them. We have plenty, right? <laughs> we live in the jungle. We have vines for days and leaf blocks for days. Let's go ahead and grab some of these leaf blocks. Okay, I like it. And I'm just going to spam them, honestly. Just... There's no right or wrong way, I guess, to put these. <laughs> okay, maybe there is just a bit. I mean, you can do some overkill, but... Um, let's see. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. And then now we just got to go around the sides here. Okay, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So all I got to do now is, with these half slabs here, is I wanted to clean this part up here. So the way I'm going to do that is use mostly this... Um, and stone to kind of clean up like let me see right there here some of this is going to be just the regular uh, stone like that so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I think this makes it look really really nice from underground so, um, or from a distance, actually, it looks pretty good. Let's just fill that in there. And there we go. So let's take a step back over here. Whoa, take a peek and, ooh, that looks really nice. I like it. This looks great and it doesn't take up too much space. This is absolutely perfect. This is definitely the look I was going to go for actually <laughs> so as long as we i mean as far as you know everything else is looking great the only thing is is i really want to figure out let me sleep really quick um i really want to figure out this coral situation so i don't know why i can't put the coral down i don't know so if you guys could help me out i'll do some research myself maybe fix it send you guys a twitter screenshot to show that i fixed it or i don't know how i'm gonna do it but yeah, this is looking pretty fantastic. Um, the one thing I want to do too is I have bone meal here. Now the center part right here, I want to leave it grass. So let's go ahead and let's just, whoops, let's get all this. Oh my gosh, my inventory is driving me crazy. Let's get that. All right, so I wanted to 
let's just put some nope not that um i wanted to leave it green in here like i don't know i just think it looks nice no flowers no flowers allowed all right let's do that see this looks pretty i don't know there's just something about leaving it green in there because it's a jungle so you know i want to leave it kind of leafy there we go yeah as long as as long as those flowers despawn it'll look better <laughs> um how about we use some of these for the inside we could do that right all right guys so this is looking fantastic i like it i really i really really like it i think i think it came out pretty good now for right here we could do something like that maybe go like that i don't know just make it look as leafy and green as possible this is like the green the green gazebo wait what is that oh <laughs> it's stone i get so scared okay all right we are officially done so anyways guys that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys did enjoy it was a lengthy one wasn't it but we did a lot we went to the ocean today we found a coral reef we built a gazebo we built a bridge we have this beautiful landscape back here now so much more exciting to run back here before it was just like nothing now we have this beautiful view so anyways guys thank you so much for watching as always i love you all i'll see you next time bye